Welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to talk about the life and the martyrdom of St. John Fisher in my brand new video. Subscribe, subscribe to this channel to see more updates and new content below. And check out my last year's video of St. Thomas More in the description box below, description link below. St. John Fisher, English humanist, martyr and prelate who devoted to the Pope and to the Roman Catholic Church resisted King Henry VIII of England by refusing to recognize royal supremacy and the abolition of papal jurisdiction over the English Church. Over the English Church. English Church. Born on October 19th. Born on October 19th, 1469. Um, in Beverly, Yorkshire, England, um, ordained priest in 1491. He won the patronage of Lady Margaret Beaufort, mother of King Henry VII of England. He became her pro he became her pro confessor. He became her confessor in 1497 and persuaded her to found Christ College, 1505, and Saint John's oh. College and St. John's College at Cambridge after her death in for, after her death in 1509. He took over at St. John's effecting its final establishment in 1511. In 1504 he was a pro, in 1504 he was appointed he was appointed Chancellor of Cambridge and Bishop of Rochester Kent. Bishop of Rochester Kent with the advent, with the advent, with the advent, with the advent, advent, with the advent of Lutheranism, Lutheranism in the 1520s, Fisher began his work as a controversialist. His books in Latin against Lutheranism, Lutheranism, and allied doctrines considered heretical by the Roman Catholic Church gave him an European uh, reputation as a theologian as a theologian in the House of Lords. He strongly opposed any state interference in church affairs urge church affairs urging that the church should reform itself when the validity of the marriage between Henry the Eighth and Catherine of Aragon was first openly questioned in 1527. Henry and Cardinal Wolsey consulted Fisher. Here he incurred the king's wrath when he defended Catherine in 1529, later publishing his defense and preaching in London on the queen's behalf. In 1531, he vehemently opposed the granting to Henry of the title Supreme Head of the Church and Clergy of England and subsequently repudiated the Supremacy Act of 1534. In March 1534, the Act of Succession declared Henry's, declared Henry's, marriage, Henry's marriage to Catherine Wyatt and, uh, and that with Anne Boylan Violet on the following April 13th. Fisher and Sir Thomas More jointly refused to take the oath required by the action of the grounds that will that while will willing that while willing to accept the succession as a proper matter of, for Parliament, they could not accept the rest of the act, especially because it repudiated papal papal, papal authority. They were imprisoned in the Tower of London. Fisher was already seriously ill. The passing of the supremacy and treason at, at the end of the year made denial of the royal titles treasonable. On May 20th, 1535, Pope Paul III created Fisher and Fisher a cardinal, which enraged Henry VIII and destroyed all hope for Fisher. He was called several times before consulars, but refused to speak about the supremacy in a conversation that was discussed as privileged. 
The Solicitor General Sir Richard Rich reportedly tricked Fisher into confiding that the King was not and could not be Supreme Head of the Church of England. He was tried on June 17th, condemned for treason, and executed on and executed on Town Hill. It was happening on June 22nd, 1535, at the age of only only 65 years. Both of them were beatified on December 29th, 1886, by Pope Leo the Thirteenth. Both of them, both of them were canonized on May 19th, 1935, by Pope Pius the Eleventh, and the joint feast day is on June 22nd, and Saint John Fisher is the patron saint of Diocese of Rochester. I hope you everyone see you in my brand new video. I'm going to talk about Saint Catherine of Sweden, daughter, the daughter of Saint Bridget herself. Bye.